Good evening, Lake Orion. Well, I'm back. I'm your host. Who cares about my other two co-hosts? I am between Terminas. Are you though? Are you? I am between Terminas. No, <laughs> I am no, between you're not. Terminas. You want? Yes, stuff. indeed. This is Between Terminas here on ONTV. I'm your host, Anthony Termina, and I got Sam and Ian. We look so young in that. Yeah. We do. We had more of a youthful glow back then, didn't we? Yes, we did. Yes, yeah. we did. Well, being Lions fans for the last 12 years, that will take it out of you. Hey, I, hey, the Lions are a part of my empire. What? That's news to me. That's news to they me. They aren't part of my empire. It's the Vikings, Ravens. Bengals, Cowboys are part of the empire. You call it an empire. Wait, but it's the more Lions of a are not wagon. part of your empire. Don't give me that. The Lions are not part of my empire. Oh, they're not. They're okay, not then, part you of need, my empire. then you need to owe viewers an apology. What do you mean? I don't you know. I don't know. Yeah, you probably said that they were part no, of your I empire. I take it back. It's right right all now. apologies to the viewers right now. It's do right it on air. No, no. Do it on air. Okay, I apologize. Lions aren't part of the empire. Don't we have it hard enough? We don't need you as a fan, too. There's a Sammy curse. Bob Bridges says there's a Sammy curse. There's no curse! When did you start becoming a Stars fan? I've been a Stars fan since 1990, 1993. That is a lie. <laughs> no. Yes, hey, they weren't even no. around I, then. Weren't we're they still the North Stars? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we're in Minnesota. 93. You were a Wings fan till what, no, 03? Not. No. You watch your mouth. <laughs> All right. What are we talking about? Lions. Lions? Ant? We can go Lions. All right, is that all right, Mr. Host? Yes, jog by the Lions. All right, we'll pose a question. Okay, so what was your take on the draft? Top five. I think Lions did well. I mean, people are going to say, well, what the heck, they're doing first round and, like, drafting a running back. And then, you know, I know people like Pat Caputo, who's been on our, has been on our show. He um, has an open invite. He has an open invite here. I would love to debate Pat Caputo on this. Um, but... I think that the Lions did okay. I mean, like, you know, you look at, of course, the Andrew Swift trade ended up working out. Um, I think they've addressed the running game issue. I love the I love the branch pick at 45. Um, Henderson Hooker is going to be your backup to um, Jared Goff, maybe two, three years down the road. Um, who knows? I mean, he's com- still coming off, a thir- coming off surgery. I don't like the lineman pick that they made. Um, I think it's a little bit of reach. Linebacker pick Paris Cam. I mean, like Campbell um, Jack. and Jack Campbell. Was a linebacker. Uh, lineback- I like the linebacker pick. I like Campbell there. I don't like the little Porter pick. I think they should have went with Michael Meyer, uh, Notre Dame tight end. Um, but other than that, I thought the Lions top five. Top five, I think definitely for sure. I still think, I still think Philadelphia, Pittsburgh, um, Green Bay. Ha- oh, I better draft some Lions. Ian, what do you think? I like their draft. Um, Baltimore, forgot. Their um, the first selection of Gibbs was a bit of a shocker. I I thought. I, I thought that it's just it was. I'm going like, wait a minute here. You don't need a running back. You didn't need a running back. You needed help in the secondary. You needed help. You know, you needed help elsewhere. You know what I mean? But why would you go secondary? No, why would you go running back? Start. Why? You need to help in the secondary. They loved him, so they picked him. You saw the celebration. Yes. They were all dancing for joy. Brad Holmes was happy about that. He was jumping. They were jumping for joy. I all wanted, that matters is how they play. It doesn't matter where they're picked, right? I wanted to. I talked to Oak View assistant principal Nick Casilla about. Oh, look at that! About name dropping here. About Jeez. the Lions. The one middle school we don't we don't have on here. Um. Well, I got my good. shirt. Bless Oak View. Bless Oakview. Thank you. Um, but I talked to him. He didn't understand it. But then you start getting more into deeper, deeper into discussion. You kind of start getting an idea here. You kind of start getting an idea what the, what they are. You start getting an idea. 
Um, so it kind of like starting to put a puzzle together. And it looks like everything made sense for them. I thought day two, the Lions absolutely killed it. I absolutely love what they did day two. Um, you like they, the hooker pick? I do because they addressed the back of quarterback issue. Um, in case, like, if Jared Goff gets hurt, um, yeah, you're putting a big risk on Henderson Hooker, but um, but I, I just say I. But when healthy, look what he's did at Tennessee. Look what he did against Alabama. Alabama one of the best defenses in the country. Um, you know, I really like what he brings to the party. I really like what Hooker does, brings. Um, I think he's a great, great backup quarterback. Um, maybe a future starter. Um, but I think he's going to be – he'll be okay. But I think he needs a couple years to learn to Jared Goff and still recover the ACL injury that he suffered. Um, I think it was the Missouri game he got hurt. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I think he needs a couple years. Your thoughts on Goff as the quarterback of the future? Right now he's the guy. He's got two years left on his deal. Right now he's the guy. He's getting his test evaluation. We'll see how it goes. Right Do you now think he's if, the guy. if he plays really good this year, they need to extend him? Yes. Do you agree with that? No. Why? Simple. This is his, his evaluation. He's got two years to prove. The question is, what is he going to do in those two years? I think having the offensive coordinator there um, really well, helped he him. He might be gone next year. Brad Johnson. I mean, like Benny. Benny, Benny Johnson. Benny Johnson. Yeah, there's easy talks for head coaching. Right. Gigs. I'm glad that he if stayed. If they have on. another big year, if he has another he's big year, about as good as gone. Yes, but I still think he loves Detroit. You know what I mean? He loves. He's been here a while. He's been here a while. He loves Detroit. Got a good thing going on. Aaron Glenn, the defensive coordinator. They kept the coordinators. It's a big deal. That is a big. It's a huge um, deal. But you know, when you look at obviously, when you look at Jared Goff, he's a proven quarterback. Drafting them on overall. Still 27 years old. He's made a Super Bowl. Made a Super Bowl. I mean, like, he's – I mean, you look at, of course, I think last year was his second best year he's ever had as a player. And I and I'll, and if he keeps developing like he's more than capable of, watch out. I mean, the Lions, they could be one of the serious favorites in the North. Who knows? But I think when I look at the NFC, like what Philadelphia is doing, you got to look at what – um, I don't trust San Fran one bit. I think it's. I think Seattle, Detroit, Philadelphia are going to be a future big three of the NFC. I think if the Lions don't win the NFC North this year, colossal failure. Yes. Well, they blow big the team up. Failure. I can bet you Goff won't be here. The good thing is they're pretty young, so they can keep their core intact. But if they don't make the playoffs and get a home game, bye bye. Any final thoughts? I think you need to reevaluate your empire. Yeah, <laughs> no, that. I do not. Especially when you look at Ravens. I think if you Bengals, don't, Cowboys add the Lions to your your fan base, and you push out the Cowboys and the no, Vikings. No, there's a Sammy Curse. You don't need the Lions as part of the empire. There's a Sammy Curse. Point of proof: Bob Bridges, Eric Jennings, have all said that there is a Sammy Curse. There is no curse. All right, good point. I'll take back what I said. Let's take a break. Okay, let's take a break. Orion Township invites you to visit the Orion Center on Saturday, June 3rd from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. to shop for bargains at the Community Garage Sale. Why spend the day driving around when you can visit dozens of vendors in the parking lot offering a wide variety of items? While that's going on outside, the Antique Toy and Comic Expo will be taking place inside the Orion Center with vendors offering collectibles, toys, antiques, comic books, and more at great prices. From 11 a.m. to 1 p.m., Shred It will be on the grounds to shred documents. There is so much going on at the Orient Center on June 3rd, and parking at admission is free. For more information, you can call 248-391-0304, extension 3500, or visit orientparks.com. Welcome back to Between Termina here on ORN TV. Look at those sleeping beauties over there. Oh, 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 oh. sleepy's contagious. Sleepy. Yes, yes, yes. yes we right. saw Joe fall asleep. Yes, we did. We thought we could snooze off. Yes, yes, we did. You did. did. Uh, did he say he's waiting for a cue? He's waiting for a cue. Waiting for a cue. We weren't speaking Spanish. <laughs> I know. 
<laughs> yeah, Break we is were. common lingo. <laughs> yeah. For commercial. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Let's talk about a second segment. Uh, what do you want to talk about? Hmm. A care center tigers? No, yeah. they don't play baseball anymore. <laughs> they don't play baseball. Because God hates them and he rains. Um, hey, Mother Nature, Mother Nature hate, Mother Nature hates the tigers. You know it. I can't disagree. Mother Nature hates the tigers. We haven't been to the summer yet. There aren't even many that love them. That's for sure. I know there aren't many that love them. I mean, they're a daycare center. They're pathetic. <laughs> yes, I know they are. The players we need to be good are not good. <laughs> Riley Green. Spencer Torkelson. Tor yep. Okay. Is there an Ian Weatherspoon curse? Yeah. Yeah. Look at my life. <laughs> yeah, look at yeah. his life. Look okay. at his life. Cursed. So there definitely yeah. is an Ian Weatherspoon So explain what the Ian Weatherspoon curse is. Uh, when he wore his Catman costume. When oh, yeah, I remember world, that. Yeah, that was the awful. World Series. <laughs> when he lost the World Yeah, I remember series, that. I agree. They, had, they blew up the yeah. franchise. They yeah. blew it up. That was the night the lights went out in Detroit. Yeah, yeah. that was his fault. You're right. That was your fault. No, right. I agree with you, Sammy, there. I agree with you there. Um, so anyway. So how do I break that curse? How? How about maybe denouncing the Tigers? That might be a, that can't, might be an option. Can't do that. Why? Could I wear the cat suit again to reverse it? Uh, uh, I don't know if I'd fit into it anymore. No, I no, don't think so. I don't think you would. I, don't think I, would. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. So, anyways, who's your new favorite team, Ian? Nobody. Who's your new favorite team, Sammy? Texas Rangers, baby. It's the Rangers. Why? Because they're in Texas, they play in Arlington. I mean, the Rangers. Because you're delusional. I am not delusional. And of course, they're part of the Metroplex. Love the Metroplex teams in the state of Texas. Always great to be, always great. Oh, also forgot my other team, the Boston Red Sox. Yeah, they're really close to Texas. <laughs> they're right there, right outside of Fort Worth. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's my other team, maybe the Boston Red Sox. You Aren't they I mean? in your empire? The Red Sox are part of the empire, you know? Aren't the Rangers too, or no? Texas Rangers, yes, they are part of the empire. Even though I had a, you know, I got secretly hidden somewhere, but you know what? But the Sammy Empire is live and kicking. Do we need to bring Bob Bridges on the show? No, we don't need to bring Bob Bridges on the show. Okay. If Bob, we bring Bob, Bob Bridges, evil. we need to bring earplugs. Because <laughs> yeah, it's going to yeah, get loud. Yeah, I agree on that. So, anyway, Sammy. So wait, I want to know. Do you have another baseball team in your empire? <laughs> Some random team? Oh. Cincinnati Reds? <laughs> huh? You want me to put them in? Kind of. Why not? You yeah. got Texas and Boston. Let me put this in the empire. How about... Mm, I mean, the Bengals can be in there, too. Let's go with a team from the heartland. Maybe Kansas City. So what team, so what team, what team is, hot, is hot right now? In baseball? In yes. Tampa. 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 Minnesota's leading Minnesota, our division. Yeah. Um, the, Tampa, the, um, yeah. the Dodgers are kind of putzing along, which is interesting. The Mets are an interesting team. Mets are interesting, with which uh, JV, JV and Scherzer, and Scherzer are yeah. finally going to be in the rotation together again. Mm -hmm. Scherzer's suspension is over. Yep. JV's back from injury. Yep. Uh, but Atlanta. Atlanta's still there. Houston. Houston to get back a little is bit. all right. Um, How do you feel about JV and Scherzer both pitching against the Tigers? Are they going to break your heart? No. no. Why? I think they're going to dominate the Tigers because the Tigers I, are a daycare center. My heart is healed. Time has healed me. Time has healed you. I mean, is Father really Time healed has healed you, really? Is it really? It's healed my uh, sadness for losing them. I think the beard and the mustache have something to do with it. I've grown up. You've grown have up. Have you really grown up? Uh, Sam, have you really hair. grown up? I think a nice little haircut would be good for you. No, how about a nice mustache and beard? Shaving that off? Uh, I would gladly do it. I know you would. Yeah. Why? <laughs> because you would look so much more handsome when you don't have that. So, huh. anyway, so any, any final thoughts on the Tigers? Did we start with any first thoughts? No. They're a daycare center, and we know it. They're not good. Maybe if they played good baseball, we'd talk about them. But we're going on how many years now? 17, 18, 19, So let's 20, go on a different subject. Let's talk later. about... Let's go Seven on years! <laughs> Seven years! Let's go on a different subject than if it's depressing you. Let's talk about the NBA playoffs. What do you think? The Milwaukee Bucks are done. Surprised. The Milwaukee Bucks are done. The Bucks and the Grizzlies, both high seeds. Done. Goodbye. Goodbye. Lakers versus Warriors. That's an interesting series. Highly interesting. Golden State in six. I think Lakers in seven. Ooh, baby. 
Mm -hmm. Care to make it interesting? No. Bet who has to make dinner one night? I think the Heat beat Team We Surrender in six. The Knicks? Yeah. Hmm. The Heat beat Team We Surrender in six. I I agree. Heat beat the Knicks. Because if any team would knock out the Milwaukee Bucks, I know a student at Oakview who's a big time Milwaukee Bucks fan. Um, Bucks got what they deserved. But the Heat, uh, the Heat lost one of their better players, didn't they? Correct. Butler's out. Butler's out. He's out. Yes. Yep. What did he get hurt with? He got hurt Sprained game one. Ankle. Sprained ankle. How many weeks he out for? Don't know, but Don't he's know. missing game two. He's missing game two. Uh oh. So that might go against your bet. Uh oh. <laughs> That's gonna help the Knicks, and the Knicks are at home. Yeah, but Miami's at home court. Hmm. The Knicks do. I think the Knicks do. No, Miami, Miami just won game one, didn't they? They did. Okay. Yeah, so they, they, took, one. they took home. Yeah, they took yeah, away they took, home course. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. Okay. You're so, right. So, mm-hmm. yeah, I got. Well, if the Knicks win, then it goes back to the Knicks. In Miami. But, I, I mean, think, the favor goes back to them. Yes, maybe. But. That's interesting. Yes, it's interesting. It's, it's an interesting matchup. I like the fact that the, well, the one seed in the East and two seed in the West are out. Mm-hmm. It's interesting. Because I still it think doesn't Denver, usually happen in basketball. No. I still think Denver's going to whip the The Nuggets West. are the favorites. The, the favorites. Do you think the Suns have a chance to come back on the Nuggets? No. Who are you liking out of the East, then? East? Simple. I still like Boston. You know, they lost are the Philly game one. Are your empire? <laughs> no, they are not part of the empire. Oh, I think Denver comes out of the West, and I think that... um. Boston, Denver. I think NBA Miami final. comes out. Ooh. Boston, the Denver, wow. NBA final. All right, so any final thoughts? Hey, I'm more happier with the NBA. My last thought is at this time, we would like to pause our discussion, roll that beautiful bean footage, and take a quick break. Yeah, yes. let's take a break. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> no. Runners and walkers of all ages are invited to come out to the 2023 Dragon Dash 5K on Sunday, May 21st. Check-in opens at 7.30 a.m. with the race starting promptly at 9 a.m. The Dragon Dash begins and ends at the Orient Center with participants heading out on the scenic Pollyann Trail toward Civic Center Park and back again. All participants will receive a medal as they cross the finish line. For more information, call 248-391-0304, extension 3500, or visit orionparks.com. Welcome back to Between Terramines. I can't believe we have, I can't believe our break situation here on ON TV. You know, it's, I think we've been out of the studio too long. Maybe we have, Maybe I don't we know. have, I don't know. People forgot how we operate. Maybe, I don't know. What do you Hey, think? I blame Bob Ridge for all the problems here. So you're blaming the so you're saying you're the Bob curse. I blame Bill Reese, Bob Ridge, Eric Jennings, Werner Burn, Jim Manzo, Brian Spada, Jimmy Mulberg, Chris Bell, all of them for all of them for what's going on here. There's like a curse that surrounds us all. That's the same a curse. Right? There's no curse! Okay. So let's talk about something that has been very, very disastrous in my heart. And that Not is for the, me. And that is the NHL playoffs, which for the record, whoever is in the NHL head of safety needs to be fired because of their treachery. How on earth do you not suspend a player from the Seattle Kraken who broke one of my Colorado Avalanche's players' neck and he does not get a hearing? Nothing. How on earth does that happen after one of my best defensemen gets a game five, gets suspended from game six for game a hit? Game five. For, Game five for a hit. No, I think it was, wasn't it game six. Yeah, he was out for game five. So I mean, it makes no sense. Tell me how fair that is. That's not fair. I mean, like I didn't like that that Minnesota one of Minnesota's players hit Joe Pavelski, and he, so he missed out on on the Minnesota series. I mean, like that's what angered me the most. But yeah, you won your series. I lost my series in seven games because. Once again, injuries. Once again, you know, I'm not being mean. I'm not making excuses. But bottom line is this. Seattle did not deserve to win that series. Hey, at least now I get to play the Kraken next round. And I should be playing you. Hey, at least I'm glad it's not you playing me. Oh, shut it's up. the Kraken. Who's I'm me. not happy with Oh, and by the way, you know what team that really failed? The Boston Bruins. Both points in NHL history... And you lose in seven games to the Florida Panthers. But oh, even better, 
He blew a 3-1 lead to the Panthers? Oh my goodness, that's not good. But here's the point, though. The Florida Panthers, remember last season, the Panthers won the East. They won the they Panthers Trophy. They won the, yeah, and they won the, and they, so Florida knows the situation. Okay? So now, Florida is, has nothing to lose. It's just like Seattle. Seattle played with nothing to lose. Florida played with nothing to lose, too. So it's like, okay, you know, whereas team like Colorado and Boston both had everything to lose. Because they were expected to get to the final. Yeah. I and mean, so uh, was Tampa, and they lost to Toronto. Oof. Well, Tampa Toronto could have won either way. You know, New York lost to New Jersey. Everybody's talking about the Rangers, and then, wow, wow, they lost the Devils in seven games. I mean, that was not bad. That's why NHL playoffs are It seems like it's unpredictable. They're unpredictable. They're unpredictable. I mean, you look at a course, the East, you look at a course. I'm not happy with the Seattle Kraken these days. No. Oh, don't worry. I can beat him in six games, so I expect that's going to happen. Um, but um, anyway, um, anyway. Um, not going to happen. Yeah, it will happen. You not watch. Um, I'm telling you, I think when you look at the Florida Panthers, playing with nothing to lose. You look at a course. They play the Leafs next. Who they won? play Toronto next, and we know Toronto's history of choking in the playoffs. I mean, we know Toronto's history. Okay, it's about as if good Toronto as the Lions. If Toronto loses to Florida in this series, well, people forget Florida won the East last year. They won the East last year. Yes, I mean, and but they lost some big pieces. They lost Mason Marchment. Obviously, yes, that is a big deal. I mean, like you know, you look at the Panthers. Yeah, they're dangerous. I mean, but their defense isn't great. I mean, they gave up a ton of goals. I mean, look at what Boston did against them. Everybody looks at Boston. They were the deepest team in, in hockey, you know? Colorado has a legit excuse. Injuries killed them. But Boston has no excuse. Point well taken. Too cocky. Mm-hmm. Love I'm to see you, it. Boston has no excuse. Colorado has an excuse because of injuries and the Nechushkin issues. We won't talk about that. I mean... But bottom line is here, you look at Boston, they got no one to blame themselves for that. I mean, like, and then you look at, of course, the New York Rangers, they lost to the Devils in seven games. I mean, like, I mean, my goodness. I mean, New York, we talk about Patrick Kane all the time there with them. And then all of a sudden, like, you know, they run to New Jersey. New Jersey, I give Lindy Ruff a lot of credit for this, but, you know, they had a great game plan for the Rangers. And now they get to go play Carolina in the next round. So, you know, there's a lot of new blood right now starting to emerge right now. And then we're not even talking about the Golden Knights and the Oilers. I think that's going seven games. I mean, I like the Golden Knights in that series over the Oilers. The Oilers could win that too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously Colorado's got a lot of free agents to sign next year. Um, So I'm curious to see how it'll go. Yeah. And then obviously the whole Lanzacog situation. Mm -hmm. Will he come back? Will he not come back? And I think that that's going to be something that, you know, the – Abs will have to address, and um, so we'll see. Mm-hmm. You know, it could be a long year in Denver. I hope not, but we'll see. Carlos farm system though, is pretty good. Though. I know. So that's know. really what it is. Right. They got a great farm system. Right. Ian, any thoughts? Yeah, it's been fun not making the playoffs for six years. The they wings don't... blew. The wings blew an opportunity to make the wild card. Eh, you know they. They didn't. wouldn't have made any noise though. Still, it still wouldn't, wouldn't matter. I, I mean, think like... this is just a big year for the wings. Big off season, I should say. They will. I don't know how much money they have to spend. Lots. Lots. Lots of money. Why? Because they traded everybody. Right. And they have lots of money. They have a lot of draft capital. They I have lots see. of draft capital. <laughs> so you think? I think they're blowing that team up. Um, <laughs> I just think I they're, they're blowing. blowing the roof off LCA. They're, they're not? finally going to put an LED roof on that thing, <laughs> and we're going to do this right. No, they're not gonna do it right. Yeah, baby. Because you know what you he get needs? little Caesar need, off the roof. You need to sell. You need to bring back Ken Holland. Yeah, you need to bring back Ken Holland. No thanks. He look what he's doing at Edmonton. I right know. Now. I know. He's doing great wonders there. He is. He's doing a good job. He's doing great wonders there. What was he doing here? Collecting a paycheck. He. I don't know what he did. He did a daycare center there. He didn't do anything I liked. <laughs> he gave you a mediocre game. Exactly. So, any final thoughts? Yeah, get out of here. <laughs> yeah, I. I'll I wa- see you on the golf course. We've I've been wanna, keeping it warm for you. I want a Stanley Cup in North Texas. Not in this lifetime. Hey, think- thanks, everybody. Bye, everyone. Bye.
Ah, that's five all right. Five minutes left! We're going to spare the people. What? How is there five minutes left? Don't mess with the devil, buddy. Or number one, we beat anybody. We're the devils! The devils! <sighs> wow. Wow, is this curse here? Are we it's cursed? Here? I guess. We're being... Ian, I guess, Ian, you have something to say? Because we're cursed. I think we're being abducted is what it sounded like. No, we're abducted? not being abducted. We're talking about curses. Oh. So, so apparently, Ian, apparently, Ian, we have a curse. Yeah, that's nothing new. It's nothing new. I live, live with it every day. So, that, so definitely. So, okay. So, anyways, here's the point. Okay, we have we ha we had to address our director situation. Do we need to find a new director? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I, it can't be Pat Ronan. No, I don't think he can make it into town in time. I know. He's been out. He's been out in Hawaii somewhere. Hawaii, huh? It's California. Oh, 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 oh. Well, I'm telling you right now. Here, is, here it is. We are. It's an interesting thing because we got. I still think we got we got other sports. We got golf to talk about. It's a great sport for you. Yeah, hey, definitely golf. Golf is, good. is a great sport. Definitely for golf's you. good. We got yeah, Stanley like, Cup playoffs. We talked about we baseball, talked about like, how we hockey. About we got. They had indoor, indoor football this week. They had indoor football. They hit the X, XFL. And the yeah. USFL. If, yeah, see? if we're getting to the USFL point of the show, <laughs> we should probably just send it to the sponsors. Let them what? come here. What? You know what we need to blame for all this? Who? Bob Bridges. I'm good with that. Yes! I'm good. Uh, okay, guys, this will do it for between 10 minutes. Have a great night. See you soon. Join Take us care. next week for Join a breakdown of the yeah, uh, really. Riley Rough Riders. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Go to Grant's now. Yeah, let's go to Grant's now. <laughs>